JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for October the 8th. I am Harlan Bospisuros, Head of Research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded mixed against the other major currencies on Thursday and, and during the Asian session Friday. It gained against JPY, CHF and slightly against the Euro, while it underperformed versus Aussie, uh, Looney, the Kiwi and the British Pound. The weakening of the safe havens yen and franc, as well as the strengthening of the risk-linked Aussie, Kiwi and Looney, suggests that um, markets may have traded in a risk-on uh, manner yesterday and today in Asia. Indeed, looking at the, performance, uh, at the performance in the equity world, we see that uh, European and US shares were a sea of green with a positive morale, although somewhat softer, rolling into the Asian session today. Uh, currently, the only index uh, among uh, the ones we monitor, which is slightly in, uh, in negative territory, is South Korea's uh, KOSPI. Now, European shares may have taken the torch from the Asian ones on Thursday after Senate's top Republican uh, Mitch McCollin said his party would support an extension of the federal uh, debt ceiling into December. Sentiment remained supported uh, during the US session as well, perhaps as uh, US Senate Majority, Le Majority Leader Chuck uh, Schumer announced that indeed Senate uh, leaders have agreed on that. The official voting took place took place overnight, with uh, Senate members voting 50 to 48 in favor of the bill. The proposal now will go to the House of Representatives, uh, lawmakers uh, of which must also approve it before, uh, before President Biden can sign it into law. The House vote is scheduled to, to be held on Tuesday, October uh, the 12th. Now, given that Democrats hold the majority in the House, we believe that getting the bill through will be an easy task. That said, although a catastrophic uh, government shutdown could be avoided for now, the chances uh, of that happening in December are far from low. Therefore, a fresh standoff between Democrats and Republicans in the aftermath of uh, passing the current bill could weigh again on investors' uh, morale. After all, the other ingredients, uh, ingredients of the cocktail that resulted in the latest equity sell-off are well on the table. Those are concerns over persi persistently high inflation and thereby faster tightening by major uh, central banks, as well as worries over a Chinese economic slowdown due to regulatory changes, the likelihood of ever grandes uh, default, and a recent power uh, crunch. Speaking about central bank tightening, today we get the, U the U.S. employment report for September, which could prove determinant on whether the Fed will begin tapering its quantitative easing purchases next month. Non-farm payrolls are expected to have accelerated to 500,000 from 235,000, while the unemployment rate is expected to have ticked down to 5.1% from 5.2%. Average hourly earnings are forecast to have slowed to 0.4% month over month from 0.6%, but barring any, devi any deviations to the prior monthly prints, this is anticipated to, uh, to take the year-over-year -year rate up to 4.6% from 4.3%. Overall, all this points to a more decent report than the one we got uh, for August, which combined with Powell's recent remarks that inflation remains elevated for longer than they have estimated, may encourage market participants to add to bets over a November quantitative easing tapering by the Fed, and perhaps even bring forth their expectations over when the first rate um, hike could take place. 
according to the Fed Fund futures, the first 25 basis points rate hike is priced in for January 2023. Now, increasing tightening bets could be translated into USD strength and another correction in equities. The opposite could be true if we get a disappointing uh, set, of, uh, set of numbers. Now, as for the rest of today's events, at the same time with the US employment report, we get uh, jobs data uh, from uh, Canada as well. The unemployment rate is expected to have slid to 6.9% from 7.1%, while uh, the net change in employment is forecast to show that the economy has added 65,000 jobs uh, during the month after adding 90.2 thousands uh, the month before. At its prior gathering, the Bank of Canada kept its policy untouched and maintained the guidance that the economic slack would be absorbed sometime in the second half of 2022, which in our view means that this is when they expect to start raising interest rates. Now, following the economic contraction in the second quarter, many participants may have been expecting the bank to announce a delay in its tapering plans. However, that was not the case. Even Governor Tiff McLean said that uh, he and his colleagues are moving closer to a time when continuing to add stimulus through quantitative easing would be necessary. Therefore, another round of uh, decent employment numbers could add to the case of an October tapering and could support the Looney, which has been enjoying an easy journey, an easy journey north uh, recently due, uh, due to the rising uh, oil prices. As, uh, as for the speakers, we have two on today's agenda, and, uh, and those are ECMB President Christine Lagarde and ECMB Executive Board Member Fabio Panetta. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So bye, have a great day, a greater weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT, just fair and direct.